Hi guys, how are you doing? So, um, welcome to today's reading. Thank you to anyone returning. Um, hi to anyone new. So this is what you need to know to get the love of your dreams. So this could be an existing relationship or you could be single and it's about how to move to that point where you get the love that you really want in your life. Okay, thank you. Um, for being here please like and subscribe if you enjoy the reading if you'd like your own reading it's 20 pounds for 20 minutes in the description box below you will find all the details okay so please pause the video if you haven't chosen your group yet and here we go okay so we've got three cards here today so what do you need to know to get the love of your dreams? Okay, so you've got three messages today, guys. So to move the situation that you have in mind. So I want you to just bring to your heart, to your mind, the situation that you um, are aware of. So this could be that you're single. It could be that you've got a particular person in mind. So what do you need to do to manifest that situation that you really want? Message number one from the guides is love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. So even if you think, oh, self-love, oh, not that old chestnut again, read this and take it on board. You know, so your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. So... I can't think of any better reason to love yourself than just because giving yourself what you need is the best thing ever. But even if you can only think about the relationship, you won't get them to love you unless you love yourself. And it will make you so much more attractive if you can love yourself too. So this is message number one. Message number two is hope. Okay, hope. Now, I love this. It's the star because it's all about having... Right, okay, they're telling me... This is intuitive, by the way. They're telling me two things. One, you need to have a positive attitude. Some of you who've chosen number one are feeling down, feeling deflated, feeling like fed up with yourself and with the situation okay so you've got to love yourself and you've got to have some positivity you know about your life in general okay so this is about feeling um excited about life again so whatever it takes to get you excited about life again if this person or this situation romantically is challenging you then find something else to get excited about. But you've got to be in this situation where you feel hope, you feel like there's possibility. So get in that joy-filled place. It doesn't need to be about the relationship because as you feel more positive about something that's easier to get positive about, if the relationship is difficult to get positive about, what you'll find is that it has a knock-on effect on everything, okay? The other thing is you need to widen your focus. I feel for some of you, the reason you feel a bit stuck, things don't feel like they're manifesting as you would want them to, is because you have very fixed ideas about how things should move forwards. What they're saying is the hope card is kind of like, you can have what you want, but it might not look exactly as you were expecting. So you've got to widen your focus it, focus a bit and relax a little and allow the universe to show you how amazing she is at bringing things forward. You can get the love that you want. Look, we've got the authority card, which is the emperor. And this is a reassurance, the third message. You can get what you want, the hope card, but also the divine masculine card. So this could be the divine masculine, your counterpart entering your life. But this is also about um, movement, action, things happening. Yeah, and it's four as well, so it's very balanced, very foundational, very structured. Authority, this, there's this sense of like power and, and um, ability to move things forward. So things can move. But in order to get out of this, I feel that the majority of you, not all of you, the majority of you who've chosen number one feel a bit deflated in the situation. Okay, so love yourself. Feel a sense of hope. Open your... Um, 
be careful because sort of semi-unconsciously you could be very fixed on how you expect things to unfold and it could well be because you've got the blinkers on you're not seeing other opportunities or other ways for this to unfold but it, it will unfold you know this authority card says things will happen for you things will move so stay positive take care of yourself because you're going to see some sort of positive action soon thank you number ones please like and subscribe See you on the next reading, if you're not sticking around. Hi, number twos. How are you doing? Why am I doing that? That's <laughs> I do that with the cards, not with this. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Right. Make the effort. Two of coins. Seven of coins. Okay, interesting. Right. So, the, what, the way I'm reading this today, guys, it's all intuitive but they're direct three direct messages from the guides in that you know how to get the love that you want how are we going to do that you've got to make the effort okay i feel that not every single person who chose number two but most of you will be the message i'm about to give here if the message i give does not resonate for you it's because the guides are giving you one specific message so it might be that the whole message that I'm about to talk about now about make the effort does apply to you. If it doesn't resonate with you, obviously it's a general reading. It doesn't always resonate. It might be that you pick the wrong pile. If so, pick again, go to a different reader, go to another reading. I do one every day on my channel. So it might be that you needed to pick a two in yesterday's reading or the day before's or whatever. Yeah. Um, so don't worry. But for a lot of you, Either the whole message I'm about to give will fit or it will be that this explanation fits or this one or this one, you know, one of the three, okay? And that you really need to hear that one message or those two messages. I hope that makes sense and I haven't just rambled aimlessly for no reason. Right, so for the majority of you who chose number two, you are slightly procrastinating or you are a known procrastinator, that you are kind of like hanging back, you're not sure, you don't know. And the reason, I was going to start with this, but I'll start here. The reason I feel this is because of this two of coins and seven of coins. They're both earth cards, they're both practical cards. Now obviously they're coins so they're financial, but in a love reading I feel this is just the practical, the physical, tangible stuff in your life. I feel like in your love life there is an opportunity for you to take the next step but both these cards are like indecision you know and intuitively so we've got pa uh, patience and planning which is the seven of coins it's this sense of review this sense of having done a lot of work coming to a point where you're kind of reviewing your options and deciding where to go it's this sense of mm, i'm not sure where to move next i'm kind of thinking about it I'm waiting for some sort of indication or whatever. We've also got the two of coins, you know, the, the juggling the two coins on the Rider Waite um, card. We've got movement, choices and decisions. So there's this sense that, you know, you're juggling things and this person here, they're looking, they're not sure which way to go. And I feel like there's all this like indecision, I'm not sure, I'm not sure what to do. Okay. Right. And the advice is, great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. Make the effort. Altogether, intuitively, the majority of you, what they're saying is, you know what you need to do. You've been told. You feel it in your gut. You feel it in your intuition. You can hear what you need to do. But instead of doing it, you're procrastinating in some way. So for the majority of you... How are you going to get the love you want? Stop procrastinating. Whatever it is that you've been putting off, whatever it is that you've been delaying, whatever it is that you think, oh, I either can't be bothered or I'm a bit afraid or it's not that logical so I don't want to do it. Okay, apply common sense here. Don't go and do crazy things. <laughs> you know, always use your intuition. Always use your common sense as well. But what I'm saying is, is that sometimes we do things... We feel in our gut that we should make a decision to do something and we know it's right for us even though it might seem a little zany or take us onto a slightly different path and it's a little bit, you know, scary. But they're saying it's great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. 
Okay, so that is for the majority of you. For some of you, that message is going to mean something else. You're not necessarily procrastinating, but you do need to make the effort. So in love this month, there's something that you need to make an effort about, but they're saying um, it's worth taking the steps you're guided to take. So how will you know if you're not a procrastinator and you're not procrastinating? Sorry, I don't know why it won't focus. If you're not a procrastinator and you're not procrastinating, what is it that you do need to make the effort about? Well, listen to your guidance. There's going to be something you need to do, but you will be guided. For some of you, the two of coins message is that you need to make a decision. You need to pick something up or put something down. Everything's a bit overwhelming. What they're saying is just go with what you feel is right for you. Just do whatever and it will be okay. So if you want to put something down, put it down. If you want to pick something up, pick it up. You know, like make the choice and it will be okay. Go with what your gut is telling you. For some of you, the seven of coins is going to resonate really strongly and you're going to feel like, Kat, I really am prepared to make the effort. I really want to make the choice, but I genuinely don't know. And for a few, maybe a dozen, two dozen of you watching this reading, that is going to be the case that you are not a procrastinator. It's the absolute opposite. You really want to act, but you just don't know how to. You're not sure where to go. What they're saying is just relax. You're in a period of reflection and you will get the message soon. Just be open to your intuition. They're saying, watch the light. Listen for the light. Listen for that intuition. And when you get the message to move, you'll know and then you can move. Okay, guys. So much love to you. And um, please like and subscribe. Hi, number three. So how to get the love that you really want? in your life oh I've done it the other way around okay fine let's go with it I laid the cards out slightly different in the others by the way if you haven't already watched them that's okay okay so number three is we've got three specific messages from the universe from um sorry my camera just did something strange that's why I <laughs> something came up on the screen that's why I went a bit quiet sorry about that um yeah, so you've got three direct messages from the guides, from the universe, about what you need to do to get the love you really want. Okay, I feel like you are feeling a little bit blocked, a little bit frustrated, okay. We've got the sacral chakra here. This is about your desires. This is um, uh, connected to the sexual um, and the desire sort of area as well. So it's very connected to the romantic and the, and the relationship situation. Okay, so what they're saying here is that as a general thing, you feel like you can't get what you want, you don't feel satisfied romantically or sexually, and you're feeling isolated, okay? There's a sense of isolation. So this could be in a relationship where you feel like there's a disconnect between you and your partner or a bit of a detachment, or it could be that you're single and lonely or feeling that situation, that stress. Okay, so the first um, piece of advice they have is that you need to know what you want. So start giving it to yourself. Find out what really um, stirs you up. What really do you want? What are your desires? Also, you can really activate this by doing some sacral chakra meditations from uh, online. If you go on YouTube, on here, there's loads of free meditations. Um, there's really good, like, I love subliminal messages as well about being positive, getting what you want in life. They can be really good. A sleep meditation, any of those things could really help. Also, it's just about being creative as well, the sacral chakra. So make sure you're doing your creative pursuits. What do you love? What makes you feel passion and fire? What gets you going? What makes you feel like you are um, birthing new ideas? So any way you can bring forward your own creativity, your own ideas, that will make a difference to your love life. Remember that they're all connected, okay? This is connected to what I've just said because the solitude card, this is the hermit, and this can also be about connecting to your inner light, which is also that sense of creativity, that sense of who you really are, the, the light within you, okay? So make sure you are doing that, your purpose, your 
interests now don't get hung up if you're if you don't feel that connected to your own life purpose you know you don't know what it is yet or you don't even know whether you have one even though everybody does but don't worry about it just what is it that fires you up connect to that inner self okay now there's a second message here for some of you you are isolating yourself you know so for some of you you need to go inwards and listen for some of you you're doing too much introspection and you need to go the other way get yourself out and connect with people because as you connect with people and you light up so particularly if you are isolated and you're an extrovert they're showing me somebody who doesn't love solitude i mean i'm a real solitary person i like a lot of solitude but not everybody does you know so don't feel like you have to wait for the perfect opportunity or the perfect person stop looking for the perfect situation get yourself out there get connecting with people okay don't feel frustrated though if i've said that and you feel like i'm just not that sort of a person that's okay too but there are a few people who need to hear that message stop procrastinating about who and where to go just get out there in the world yeah because then you will feel more alive it will fill you up you know because if you're an extrovert you need to be amongst people to really uh, refuel okay so do that and most of all the third message is you deserve love you are lovable you need to know this you need to remember this okay so meditations again would help this uh, definitely the subliminal ones about um uh, thomas i think he's called thomas hall does uh, are the ones i use and i really really like him and i like them they're subliminal messages he's a british guy um you can't hear anything you either hear classical music or like binaural beats or water waterfalls or streams or whatever and they you can't hear the messages but you can look on the description and it does tell you what they're saying so you can make sure that they you know vibe with you before you listen to it but I feel they, they, they really help me. So I think that they will be good for you because they're showing me them. They're showing me the YouTube page in my mind. So um, it may well be that some of you will really resonate with them. But you need to do whatever to know you deserve love, that you are lovable. But if you connect with your inner core and start getting really creative, you'll find that happens naturally. Okay, because it will fire you up okay and that's how because then you will become this beacon this light that the person that you love or that you want will be drawn towards okay guys thank you number threes if you'd like your own reading please look in the description box below 20 pounds for 20 minutes hi number fours how are you doing right so how to get what you really want your love in your life i can't remember the title this always happens let me check it because that's very unprofessional me not knowing it what do you need to know to get the love of your dreams yes okay cool just taking it in sorry excuse me a moment okay right for all the other readings, for all the other, sorry, groups, I had three specific messages. This is kind of one big message for you guys, number four. Okay. Right. <laughs> yeah, it's one message. So, how to get the love you really want and the love of your dreams and what you need to do to get that. So, you could be in a relationship already or it could be a new relationship that you're going to go into what you need to do is choose more wisely okay so the seven of cups has many messages here this is the seven of cups some of you will resonate with part of what i'm saying some of you will resonate with all of it so how to move the relationship you're into the next level or if you're single or you have someone in mind how to manifest the right situation for you right the problem you have a lot of you number fours is this passion allow your heart and soul to sing with joy okay please apply caution about the message at the bottom yes allow your heart and soul to sing with joy 
but for some of you this passion is not coming from the heart and soul <laughs> it's coming from the mind it's coming from the ego it's dysfunctional passion and that you're letting your letting sorry your kind of more basic desires let's say take hold of the situation so in this situation with this person or in your next situation you need to choose wisely and that means staying calm not allowing this passion to drag you along so quickly so rapidly so um uh well i can't think of the right word doesn't matter it'll come to me i'll have to change what i was saying um yeah they're basically saying that some of you impulsively that's the word so what happens is you get that passion you get that connection and you just dive right in and what they're saying is you need to choose more wisely i mean sometimes often with the seven of cups it's like you can't make up your mind what they're saying is it's literally what this card says choose choose wisely think about what you're going to do can you see this person this guy's like on a boardwalk or this person and they sat in a meditative position with their hands like this they're asking for assistance they're asking for guidance that's what you need to do because a lot of this pain that you've been had in the past could have been avoided it doesn't mean it's your fault it's not your fault and you were meant to be where you were anyway quite probably you know if you believe in that i do that you've learned a lot from it etc etc okay, so it's not a criticism at all it's just you're asking here you're here because you're asking how do i get what i want next time or how do i get the love i really want and not the heartache and loss how do i manage to you know find a situation where i I'm allowed, I'm allowed to grow and flourish rather than feel all that pain and sadness and that is because of the choices you make so all they're really asking you to do is not jump in head first take your time yes feel the passion from your heart and soul but don't allow your more basic needs and your imagination your mind to run away with itself that's the key all right and if you can manage that you will find that the love comes much um, much more easily okay and you don't get overrun with passion and get yourself in a situation of this again okay guys so much love to you see you on the next reading